Hello, YouTubers. Uh, this is uh, Osak here, and uh, just wanted to comment on something I just found out uh, this morning. In fact, uh, my brother uh, texted me some information about a lawsuit that uh, is currently has been accepted by the Supreme Court of the United States for review. And it's something I was totally unaware of. And I consider myself pretty well informed. So I'm thinking perhaps a lot of you are also unaware of this extremely important lawsuit. And uh, so let me tell you a little bit about it here. It's, it's uh, a lawsuit uh, that is being uh, basically uh, filed by four brothers, okay, and their last name is Brunson, B-R-U-N-S-O-N. Uh, if you go to raylandbrunson.com, that's R-A-L-A-N-D-B-R-U-N-S-O-N, raylandbrunson.com, there's some information about this, uh, this lawsuit. And if you do uh, a Google search, you'll find even more. And uh, interestingly, it's set for review on January the 6th. Coincidence? I don't think so. And both lost, basically this lawsuit, there was actually two filed, but one of them made, uh, they were identical, two different brothers in Utah, and one of them has made it all the way to the Supreme Court and has been accepted for review, which is amazing, especially since they didn't use a lawyer. They just, one of the brothers had some experience uh, with filing suits and actually had tried uh, to get two other uh, lawsuits in the past in front of the Supreme Court and failed, but he knew how to do it. He knew the process. So uh, they, you know, did it themselves and instead of spending millions of dollars on with lawyers to, uh, you know, help them. So that in itself is amazing when you think about it. And, uh, but these law, this lawsuit basically is uh, against uh, the defendants, President Biden, Vice President Harris, former Vice President Pence, and 385 members of Congress in both houses uh, for breaking their oath of office by voting against the proposition that came from, you know, from members of Congress to investigate the claims that there were enemies of the Constitution who successfully rigged the 2020 election. So the lawsuit basically uh, is that the these people uh, violated their oath of office which is uh, the part of it that uh, pertains to this is I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies foreign and, and domestic so that's what the lawsuits about and uh, so basically if they win then all of the aforementioned politicians and, and office holders will be removed from office, will be barred from ever serving in office again. And they may be jailed and fined. <laughs> now consider this. January the 6th is when the Supreme Court selected to review this. <laughs> That's amazing. And they received the, they actually received it on the 24th of October. So they're moving this along pretty fast. And uh, the other thing is, apparently here recently, uh, the Democrats have been threatening the Supreme Court because of like Ro the Roe v. Wade ruling. I can't remember what it's actually called, but different things like that that have angered the Democrats. Okay, they've been uh, threatening and were threatening to uh, basically push through really quick legislation, uh, you know, packing the court passing a law that would pack the Supreme Court. And also there's another uh, bill that would uh, actually remove some of the, the Supreme Court's power. And so they're threatening the Supreme Court right when this is happening. And so, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better, you know, uh, enemy of the Democrats than themselves because they continue to do stupid things. And so, uh, needless to say, I'm sure the Supreme Court is not real happy with them at this point. And uh, they're, they're under fire, okay? And uh, if they're at all patriotic, they have to know that it's now or never. And that they will also have to understand that this would basically head off what would be coming later if they don't do this, if they don't rule in favor of this defendant.
uh, Mr. Mr. Brunson. And that would be, of course, civil war. And we were already seeing the balkanization of our country. You know, the red states are more getting more red. The blue states are getting more blue. And, you know, I, I believe also in uh, the 2022 elections, we saw the same thing that we saw just in a, in a different, more careful and more sly way that we saw in the 2020 elections in those, those uh, battleground states. So anyway, I just wanted to make sure you're aware of this and that you had this information. Please get the word out. I don't care if you use my video here to do that or if uh, you just simply, you know, look up some links and share them through other avenues. I really don't care. It's just important, super important that the American people know about this and have the opportunity to support it. Okay. Thank you so much. Coming up on six minutes here and that's more than enough time. Thank you.